Stayallday.com. Yeah, shout out to everybody watching this on replay and everybody watching on YouTube. I do appreciate if y'all tap the screen while I'm talking here. What up, Harris? Checking in from Slovenia. All right, we're going to talk about media and public relations. Now, first, let me tell you a couple stories. We got Donna Y from Houston. All right, first, let me tell you a couple stories. Like a few months ago, I was working with this public relations agency. If any of y'all don't know what public relations agency does, basically what public relations agency did back in the back in the days before social media became as big as it was the PR agency basically got you seen by the public It's public relations so basically the relations between an organization or an entity which could be one person and the public so if you want people to know your name you want to get interviewed maybe you want to be in a magazine maybe you want somebody to get you on their podcast or talk about you on their YouTube channel or their website or where newspaper on a news six channel six news whatever it was you went through a PR agency to PR you paid the PR agency and they basically got your name out into the public so I was working with this PR agency earlier this year and this guy basically sold me on the idea that I should pay them a certain amount of money what they gonna do is go do public relations get me seen by this radio station this podcast get interviewed by these people blah 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 and basically I should invest in that so they could get me seen by these people and he said you know it takes at least six months to a year to see how good PR is working out I worked with them for about three months and then I fired their whole organization and one of the people at the organization she was kinda she was like one of his assistants and she got mad and she sent me this pissy email or, you know PR is an investment and it takes time to build up blah 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 and then I'm gonna tell you a second story this is something else that happened Earlier, about a couple weeks ago, I was on Periscope. I was doing a Periscope stream, and somebody commented in the video, like, Yo, Dre, I do videos. I heard that you do videos. No, I want to get in touch with you. I said, All right, send me an email. So this individual sent me an email, and they said, You know, this is what I do. I work in this area, that area. They don't live in South Florida, where I live, but they live in the United States. They said, I do this and this. They sent me a bunch of samples of videos. And I looked at their videos, and they also said in the email, it'd be great to work with you, Dre. I could interview you. And I said, sure, you could definitely interview me. I love doing interviews. I like ask, answering questions for those of you who don't know. I said, cool, we could definitely do an interview. I like the videos that you put out, nice work, et cetera, et cetera. They wasn't basketball videos. They wasn't the, my type of content. They was about uh, music. But I said, yeah, the videos look nice. So anyway, this person writes me back. I get an email back from them maybe two days ago, and they said, you know, well, I got into making videos because I start, I just did it as fun, and then people told me I could do it as a business. I started doing it professionally, and then this is what this person said to me. They said, well, yeah, I would love to interview you, Dre, but interviews usually cost money, and since we don't live in the same place, are you ever in my location where they live, or would you be willing to invest in, you know, paying money for me to come to South Florida so I can interview you? And here's the crazy part, right? So I go back to the previous email from this person and they had YouTube videos on their channel about the content that they make. And just so y'all know a little bit about me, what's going on Raider Nation Raw? Well, Miss Monique, you ain't even hear the whole story yet. You didn't hear the whole story. <laughs> y'all ain't even I didn't even get to the foolish part yet. So this is what happened. So for those of you who don't know that much about me, I am on YouTube. I got 4,500 videos on YouTube. I got, I've been viewed on YouTube over 35 million times. I got 100,000 plus subscribers on my YouTube channel. I've been YouTubers for almost 10 years. I go to this individual's, what's going on, WD Manog, Andre, what's going on? I went to this individual's YouTube channel. I went to click on one of their videos, you know, and the video pops up in the email, and I clicked on the YouTube button to go see their channel. This person has 1,400 subscribers on YouTube. 1,400 subscribers on YouTube. In other words, about 100 times, about 1% of the number of subscribers that I got, they have. And this person is telling me <laughs> that to get interviewed by them is going to cost me money to pay them. I should pay them to interview me or pay for them to come to Florida so they can interview me. And my response to this person, I didn't get a response back yet, but what I said to them is, um, I'm not sure you understand how media works, but you know, if anything, you should be paying me to even respond to this email right now. I have way more fans than you, way more followers than you. If I need to get paid all day, say you don't need PR nowadays is what social media has become. Paid all day, you stepping all over my, my Periscope topic right now. <laughs> you killing my topic, but I'm going to get to it. I'm going to get to it right now. So I told her, I told this individual, I said, yo, I got way more followers than you, subscribers than you. Who's your audience? Like, who's going to see a video that I do with you? that I couldn't get to those people directly myself. And this person said they work in the music industry. I said, okay, so if if you wanted, if Drake wanted to be interviewed by you, you telling me you would send Drake an invoice and he would have to pay you to get interviewed and it doesn't even make sense is what I said to this person. What's up, Donna, Alba? I said to this person, listen, 
the people who are actually the people who actually have a following, you would need to pay them because you have no following. Nobody even knows who you are. People know who I am. The same people that can watch your videos, I can reach those people with one email, one phone call, or one Periscope stream immediately. And a point, as as Paid All Day pointed out, is that these days you really don't need a public relations agency or a PR person unless you're under certain circumstances. And I'm going to get to them in a second. Now, here's first. Let me tell you. Now, actually, first, let me tell you what those circumstances are. You need PR if you're somebody like, let's say, Beyonce or you're maybe even somebody like Drake. They might need PR just because of the fact that they're so big and there's so many media outlets that want to get their attention that they need somebody who can kind of manage it. And which means while I was thinking about this topic, it means you might not necessarily need a PR person. Maybe you just need a manager. Maybe you just need a personal assistant who knows what they're doing. That person can say, all right, this radio station, radio station 99 FM, you want to talk to us at three o'clock? OK, this person want me to be on a podcast at 430. OK, and they can get everything together. This person want to do an interview for a magazine. You want to do a photo shoot to be on the cover of this newspaper. What's going on? Burfin Baliki. So you just need somebody who can manage that stuff if you're so big, if you have so much going on, so many people trying to get in touch with you that you got to, you know, massage everything, keep everything in order. But for solopreneurs, for people who are just getting started, even somebody like myself, like I got I've been viewed a lot of times online. I got a website. I do a lot of stuff on the Internet. I don't need a PR agency. Why? Because what I realized while I was working with this PR agency earlier this year is this. I'm the best PR agent I've ever had in my life. And I'm probably the best PR agent I'll ever have. And as Paid All Day said earlier in the comments, if you know how to work social media, you don't need a PR agency because PR stands for public relations. Your relationship with the public. Now, how many people watching this Periscope stream have ever met me in person? How many of you have ever heard of me anywhere outside of the Internet before the first time you heard of me? Probably none of you. Never heard of me in, in regular life before the Internet Never met me before in person, but you watch me here on Periscope. I'm really, I have a relationship with the public just by doing this, just by making videos, just by having a website, just by doing all the things that I do on the internet, tweeting, Instagramming, Facebook, Periscoping. What's going on, Melbourne? So all this stuff is going on without any PR agency. And a PR agency, definitely, I think, I appreciate that, Damon Reese. I ain't even get to the end of the, the, end of the information yet, so I appreciate it already, though. And... I appreciate that reading the book. To, to Val Howell said, who am I? I have seen you before. But if you have a startup business and you want some mainstream press, do you need a PR? No, you do not. So I'm going to tell you, I'm going to answer that question. I'm going to tell you who I am. My name is Dre Baldwin. Many know me as Dre all day. I got my own website. I write books. I'm a professional speaker. My background is as a professional athlete. I got YouTube videos. I got a website. I got a lot of stuff going on online. If you just Google me and if you just keep listening to me, you won't learn a lot about me because a lot of it comes out as I speak. I appreciate that, Kevin J. Brown. What's up, beautiful? 43 how you doing so the question was and I'm gonna get to the rest of my point but somebody asked the question they said if you have a startup if you're just starting your business do you need a PR agency the answer to that question is no but what you do need this is what you do need somebody who knows what the hell they're doing on social media that's what you need you need somebody who knows how to use social media social media is the new PR and I'm gonna tell you something when I was working with this PR agency earlier this year they was like you know this is how they sold me. They basically said, you know, there are interviews that you need to get done. There are people that need to hear your voice. You got to get out there, but you had to pay for this media. It's called paid media. This is what this person said. You had paid media getting on the news and getting on these TV shows and getting on these radio interviews. They're not free. They cost money. This is what this guy sold me on, which was complete bullshit. I'm mad at myself for being sold into this, but I'm happy because the information that I got from that, that mistake allowed me to share this information with y'all right here. I appreciate that, Be Dynamic Sports. So look, what they started doing, I did a couple of interviews. I did an interview with like this. My first interview with them was like this 82-year-old white woman. I don't know where she was from. She was from somewhere in Florida. It wasn't in person. It was over the phone, and I was interviewing on her show. She had her own radio show. And I don't know why, first of all, why they feel they needed to pay her for me to be interviewed by her. Because first of all, how many of you, how many people watching this scope right now listen to a radio show by an 82 year old white woman. How many of you listen to that? How many of you who listen to me, a 33 year old black guy, <laughs> listens to a radio interview by an 82 year old white woman? Tell me who if you do. I appreciate that, Natural Beauty. 
Four is who? Who who is it that you listen to? Give me a name. Exactly. Nobody listens to that stuff. So even if, even if, I right, even if <laughs> this person was the most famous person in the world, what's the point of it? Because my audience and her audience are not the same. Nobody who gives a damn about what I talk about is listening to some 82-year-old woman radio show. That makes no sense. And then I did a couple others that they set up and they were all pretty much a waste of time because the people, so unless it's Paul with me, the people that were interviewing me, there were these old ass people who got these old ass audience demographics. And I'm like, why am I, yeah, why do I even need to hear this? Why do, why does anybody even need to hear this radio show? Yeah, they want to hear my interview, but why would they even be tuning in in the first place to even get the information? So the demographics didn't even match. And this is what happened. The PR agency, the guy who's running PR agency, he was an older dude. He was like 50, 60 years old. So who does he know? A bunch of people who are 50 or 60 years old. I didn't need that guy. What I could have did, I could have took that same money and hired somebody who's like a social media expert, even better than me at social media, and had them get me some podcast interviews, some blog, some blog, uh, what's it, recognition, maybe get some YouTube collaborations. But then I'm looking at the situation like I could do all that stuff my damn self. I've been doing it. I've done 50 to 100 interviews, blogs, guest posts, YouTube collaborations, podcasts, radio interviews with people. I got emails right now from a guy. He does a show called Athlete on Fire. I'm going to do his podcast later this week. A couple other people who you probably know, I'm going to do their podcast. And these are things that I did just off my own grinding. And I'm going to show you exactly how I did that. Are paid ads on social media effective or, or are consistent posts the key? Both. Paid ads can be effective if you know how to do them. I don't use paid advertisements. Listen, this is. let me explain to you something about media. I have a website that's been viewed a couple million times per year. I got 35 million views on YouTube. I got these Periscope people. I got about 8,000 on Twitter, 8,000 on Instagram. All this stuff, I have not paid one cent to get people. I, did, I never paid for any followers. I never paid to be on anybody's show, at least except for that, that PR error that I made. Should ball players watch this scope? Well, ball players want to be business people. Yeah, you should watch it. And what else was I about to say? I haven't paid. I haven't paid for any ads. I don't pay for Facebook ads, though. Facebook ads work. I haven't paid for Google ads, though. There are Google ads that work. If you want to use advertisements, which is what we call paid media, paid media means advertising. So if you see it, if you drive on the highway and you see a billboard up on the on the side of the road, that's paid. Somebody paid money to put that billboard up there because they feel they're going to get a big enough return on investment to make up for what they spent on the billboard. Or if you see an advertisement on Facebook or a pop-up ad on Google or you go to some website and you see the advertisements, those people, those companies pay to get those ads on there. You do not need to pay to get ads anywhere if you know how to use social media. If you use social media the right way, you're going to start to build relationships with a public that has never even met you in person, which is exactly what I do, exactly what thousands of other people out there are actually doing. Somebody said media is really people at the end of the day. Exactly. Media is people. And here's the thing. If you want to get seen by the news, and this is one of the things the guy, the PR guy used to say, you know, if you want to get on the news, it costs money. It's not free, Joe. You got to pay to get on the news. Listen, if your news, you ain't got to pay. Now, last week, last night, it was the Ravens against the, the Ravens played against the Cincinnati Bengals. And this guy scored a touchdown at, on the last play of the game to win the game. Did he have to pay the news for them to talk about him? Hell no. Did he have to pay ESPN for them to interview him after the game? Hell no. He didn't have to do that. Why? Because it's already news. What he did is news. And if something you do is news, ladies and gentlemen, which means it's noteworthy enough that people want to come find you and talk about it, you don't have to pay them. They will pay you attention. They will pay you attention to get you to talk. Oh, it's the, the Browns. I'm sorry. The Ravens against the Browns. All right. And it's funny because I retweeted this video of this guy who got mad when the Browns, because it was at the Browns and they gave up that last second touchdown. The guy was real sad in the stands. But anyway, the Ravens against the Browns. Thank you for the clarification, everybody. He didn't have to pay to be on ESPN because why? It's already news. Everybody knew it was news. I don't watch TV. I saw it. Do I have to watch TV to know that? No, I don't. <laughs> so look. If you want people to interview you, you want to get seen by the public, you want to build your public relations base, you want to build an audience, never, ever, 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 ever pay somebody to interview you. Don't pay anybody to interview you. All right, when Oprah Winfrey has a TV show. You think Michael Jordan and Charles Barkley paid to be on the Oprah Winfrey show? Hell no. You think Tom Cruise paid to be on the Oprah show? Hell no, he didn't have to pay. Why? Because he's important enough that Oprah's audience says, we want to see Michael Jordan. We want to see Charles Barkley. We want to see Tom Cruise. We want to see Denzel Washington. So she said, hey, Denzel, this is a mutually beneficial relationship here. You have me 
I'm going to have you on my show because my audience is going to watch because they want to see you. And you come on my show because your fans want to see you interviewed by me. And you're going to pick up some new fans because I got an audience and you got an audience. So we're helping each other out. You understand? If you don't have an audience and the other person does, that's when you're in a situation where they might where they might say, hey, you can pay me. But this girl, who, this person who came to me and said, yo, I got 1,400 followers. You should have to pay me to interview you. Like, are you out of your damn mind? Like, you should be paying me to even respond to this email. But anyway, that's a whole different conversation. If you have a huge audience and the other person has a small audience, hey, you can do that. You can you can help them out because guess what? At some point, I appreciate that, Edwina. At some point, that person might get bigger. And when they get bigger, you know what? They're going to remember that you helped them out at the beginning. But if you don't have, let's say you don't have an audience right now. This is this is five-minute PR right here. If you don't have an audience right now, you want to build an audience, maybe you got a startup, maybe you're starting your own thing on the side, you're a solopreneur, you just want to get known by the public. You want people to know who you are. Here's what you need to do. It's very simple. All right, learn how to use social media. <laughs> That's it. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. What else is it? Snapchat. We got YouTube. You got LinkedIn. You got Periscope. You got Meerkat. You got Blab. Learn how to use the ones that you want to use, whatever ones you want to use, I would say everything, but everybody can't be an octopus and do everything. Everybody is not that uh, techno technologically advanced. Yeah, grandma's knowledge right there, exactly. You got to learn how to use social media because social media allows you to build an audience. I started blogging in 2005. I started YouTubing in 2006. I've been doing all these, all these social media platforms and I do them myself. I make my own videos, I write and edit my own posts, I write my own books, I do my own interviews. If I go on an interview, when I did the, when I did the Grant Cardone show in September, like the Young Hustlers on Grant Cardone Network, I created that. They didn't know who I was. I reached out to them and created that energy. I created that relationship. When I did a TED Talk last month, I created that relationship. They didn't know who I was. I reached out to them. I found out it was happening. I reached out to them. I told them who I was. I sold myself. And they would say, you know what? We're interested in you. Why don't you come? Can you come give a talk at our event? And the next one I do, and the next one I do, and the next one I do, you got to learn how to create your own media, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't know how to create your own media, then you're going to be in a position of paying some PR firm to do some BS work for you that's not even going to get you where you want to go. Building an audience at the moment. Follow me. All right, well, tell us what your, tell us why we should follow you paid all day since you keep tweeting that. I don't think that's going to work, but if you tell us why we should follow you, I'm going to tell everybody to do it. So here's the thing. You want to get seen, you got to learn how to create your own media. Learn how to use social media. Learn how to write. Learn how to contact people. Learn how to have a conversation. Learn how to network. Learn how to sell yourself. You got to learn how to sell yourself in, a, in something that takes me less than two minutes to read. So that I can find out what it is that makes you interesting and why I should give a damn. If you can't get that message across to me in less than two minutes, why you're interesting and why I should give a damn, you can't create your own media. Then you're going to have to go pay somebody. All right, so I will take a couple questions here. If anybody got any questions, I'm not sure anybody does. Then we're going to wrap up this Periscope stream. I do want to do more streams today. Art Basel is starting this week in Miami. Beautiful. It actually starts today to keep it real. Can I take any questions? We talking about PR, media, social media, creating your audience, selling yourself. Russ Dan, stop posting that question. If it was out, you would know. <laughs> Can I take any questions from anybody? Where we talk? What's going on? Univ seventeen. How you feeling? Where you checking in from? Can I take any questions? I'm gonna leave a. I'm gonna give y'all like 10, 15 seconds for anybody to post a question. What outlet do I recommend? Is the most, the most what, Slim Jesus? What do you mean the most? The most useful? Whichever one you can use the best. Whichever one you're going to use is the most useful. What is my two minutes? Why I should give a damn? Everything I say at the beginning of my Periscope videos. So I tell you who I am. I tell you where I'm from. I tell you what I've done. That's it. That's pretty much it. That's the whole thing right there. Who I am, where I'm from, what I've done. If those three things are not compelling and they don't get people's attention, then you're not going to be able to create your own media. It's free media. Social media is free. It doesn't cost money to do social media. How do you sell yourself in a Christian retail outlet with social media? What do you mean? I don't understand what you mean with that question, Ms. Bernie. What do you mean in a Christian retail outlet? What are you doing? Do you own it? Do you work there? What are you doing? Breezy said, I look like I work out. That's a good observation. <laughs> Give me some clarification on that question so I can answer it. You own a Christian retail outlet? 
you want to sell yourself so you want to sell your business are you selling you as a person or your business which one is it give me some clarification on exactly what you want to get and I can tell you I can tell you better how you can actually create some media you can create a relationship with the public because that's what public relations are you got to learn how to be your own PR agent anybody else got a question I'll take it in between you want it you want advertising you want to advertise your store get on social media social media is advertising it's free advertising you know how many people are on Facebook there's a billion people using Facebook another couple hundred million using Twitter I don't know how many using Periscope Instagram snapchat how many people just go on the internet every day everybody uses the internet every single day so those that's advertising right there you can advertise yourself online you got to create some content any of you want to want something to create content go to dreallday.com slash content that's a free PDF I get followers on easily on Instagram but cannot convert into Facebook well you got to use Facebook for what Facebook is for Instagram is photos and videos Facebook you can also use text so do you have a Facebook page start your Facebook page and start putting out content on that page not just the stuff that's on Instagram but some actual content outside of the stuff that you have from Instagram and look around the other Facebook pages that are similar to yours see what they're doing see what they're doing and copy steal their ideas have ever paid for advertisements like my vid intros hell no they pay me if you see advertisements on my videos that means the person who did the ad paid the person who made the video so you just got it backwards <laughs> If you go to a YouTube video and you see an ad on that video, the person who made the video got paid by the company in the advertisement. You understand that? All right, I'm going to take any more questions. Anybody got any questions that we can wrap up this Periscope stream? I think I answered every question. I think I must have just killed this topic because nobody has any questions whatsoever. So everybody, I appreciate y'all for being a, a wrapped audience. My name is Dre Baldwin. Website is DreAllDay.com. You want that free content, ideas, PDF, go to DreAllDay.com slash content. C-O-N-T-E-N-T. -E I appreciate that, H2 Jennings. If you watch me for the first time, ladies and gentlemen, swipe to the right, follow me. I do this every single day. I got so much knowledge, so much information, so much experience. See, I'm selling myself right now. I'm telling you what I'm going to do. I'm going to overpromise and overdeliver everybody. Work on your game. DreAllDay.com. This video, I'm sure you were entertained. Make sure to stay connected with me on all your favorite social networks. Twitter and Periscope at DreAllDay. Instagram, Dre Baldwin. Facebook slash work on your game. You can bookmark my YouTube channel by subscribing, of course. And the website is work on your game. That's dot M-E. Work on your G-A dot M-E. And of course, my homepage is my website, DreAllDay.com. So you can know exactly what I'm doing, exactly when I'm doing it, and how you might be able to be involved. Work on your game.